While many of Tony Blair's colleagues are in retreat over their support for the Iraq war, he has once again defended the invasion, but asked in an American TV interview if the conflict was the principal reason for the rise of so-called Islamic State, he did acknowledge limited responsibility for the current instability in the Middle East. You can't say that those of us who removed Saddam in 2003 bear no responsibility for the situation in 2015. But it's important also to realise, one, that the Arab Spring, which began in 2011, would also have had its impact on Iraq today. And two, ISIS actually came to prominence from a base in Syria and not in Iraq. I've been told that Sir John Chilcott is going to deliver his timetable for the completion of his long-awaited inquiry into the Iraq war here to Downing Street this week. Now, the previous occupant of number 10, Tony Blair, has already seen all the passages in that report that are critical of him. So what we're getting now is a sneak preview, a summary, if you like, of how he's going to respond when those criticisms are finally made public. He won't even attempt to defend the clearly indefensible. He'll say sorry for inaccurate intelligence in the run-up to war and for poor post-conflict planning. But he won't concede any new ground. He's apologised for these mistakes in the past. And significantly in his CNN interview, he adds, but I find it hard to apologise for removing Saddam. Even from today in 2015, it is better he is not there than that he is there. This Whitehall expert has recent experience of chairing a government inquiry. He believes publication of the report into Iraq is still some way off. People have been building up significance because Sir John Chilcott, whose inquiry into the Iraq war has been, we've been waiting for for years and years. Sir John's going to tell the Prime Minister within a week or two when the report will be handed to the government, but that doesn't mean we're going to see it, so don't put it on your Christmas list yet. So, regrets, yes, he has a few, but when Chilcott eventually delivers his verdict, Tony Blair will make clear that going to war wasn't one of them. Ian Watson, BBC News.